how to install Ansible in the latest Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Today we are going to talk about the easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside Ubuntu 22.04 with the distribution tool. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about how to install Ansible in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. We are going to see the easiest way to install and maintain Ansible inside Ubuntu with the distribution tool. We are going to see how to install Ansible in two different ways. The first method is to install Ansible using the Universe repository, the default that you get after the installation. The main advantage of using the Universe repository is that you don't need to do anything and uh, it doesn't require any external repository. The second method to install Ansible is using the PPA repository. Please bear in mind that adding an additional repository has a different quality assurance of software. Demo time! Are you ready to make your hands dirty? Let's jump in a quick live demo about how to install Ansible in uh, Ubuntu 22.04 LTS with Universe and PPA. Wait a minute, how could you list the available packages of Ansible for Ubuntu? Well, the website packages.ubuntu.com is designed exactly for this scope. So type here Ansible in the search box and select Jammy as a distribution and hit a search. As you can see, you have uh, the, all the list of uh, available packages from the proper Ansible package that is uh, designed for 2.10 uh, release of Ansible Core and the latest Ansible Core release uh, 2.12. We are going to verify this on the command line. Where could I find more information about Ansible PPA? Another website, the Launchpad website, offers you a great view about the available Ansible version and if you select Jammy 2204 you can see that Ansible 5.6 or Ansible Core 2.12 is available. Cool! Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my freshly installed Ubuntu machine via SSH DevOps is the username at ubuntu.example.com. This is a freshly Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, let's verify with cat slash etc slash OS release. Here we go. The easier way is to use apt, the package manager, so apt get install ansible. Let's, let's confirm the default proposal of transaction to install ansible and its dependency. The grand total is uh, the additional using of 243 megabytes and downloading 22 megabytes of archives. This is before because there are a lot of small files in Ansible, especially in the collection file, that takes some space uh, in the disk. This is the uh, exactly amount of time in my workstation. It depends by the network performance as well as performance of the workstation. In the end, we could confirm that Ansible is correctly set up using 
ansible dash dash version command that confirm that everything is ready. What if you really want the latest version of ansible? Well, you need to use the PPA repository. So first of all, let me update the apt metadata and then verify that the software dash properties dash common is successfully installed. Once everything is set it up, we can use add apt repository and okay, of course, dash dash yes and we can select the appropriate PPA. Also dash dash update to force apt update. The PPA is Ansible slash Ansible. Then we need only to wait. So all our Ubuntu box now is configured to use the PPA to install Ansible. So let's remove the old package. I mean, the official package from a universe, the one that we just installed 2.10.7 and let's install the new one. As you can see, this is slightly bigger, 21 megabyte and unpacked 300 megabyte of disk space. Just let's wait uh, the download time and now Ansible 5.6.0 is going to be installed in our machine. Everything is going to be super smooth because the PPA also validate the dependency according our distribution and once everything is properly set it up we can double check that ansible is available as before just type ansible touch dash version and this time we have a different result yes you report the ansible core 2.10 Previously was 2.12, no, 2 previously 2.10 and it used the latest Python version. Now you are ready to move your automation journey to the next level. And yay, you have two options to do this stuff. So select what you prefer, the stability of the Ubuntu repository universe or the latest up-to-date package from the PPA archive. Now you know how to install Ansible using Universe and PPA repository in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Thank you for watching, see us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and we are going to have a lot of fun. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.